So I'm back on Liberty Mountain, and you can see this is where I'm at, parked up here. And I'm gonna just try to hike around in here, because I've never hiked any of these trails. In fact, I didn't even know <laughs> they existed until about a week ago. Uh, so we're gonna start off on uh, Bobsled, which is uh, right over here. And I'll be hiking up into that. Uh, you can see, you know, it's kind of a weird parking lot. I just wanted to show you, because I, you know, came down by the, uh, this is the indoor, um, swimming pool and the indoor track uh, and then of course the soccer fields are over here and uh, and then you just come down this street and this this kind of dead ends over here and, uh, and then you get get onto the expressway so uh, this will be uh, this will be different I've never been here before it's been a beautiful day oh my goodness gracious so let, let me just show you a couple of the trails it says this is monogram road I don't know how that's possible but uh, and then this is a uh, flames road that's 1.3 miles and then bobsled which is right here so we're just i'm just going to go up here on bobsled and get myself lost in the woods so let's get going and uh you could see i mean if you wanted to go up flames road that'd uh that'd be interesting i guess but uh i don't know i've been i've been checking this out i can't wait to see I, i'm surprised there's no leaves on the trees i just came from north carolina and you know all the uh leaves are on the trees it's like um well, it's between 70 and 80 today, absolutely perfect weather. So you can see how the trail's starting out here, just basically going through a pine forest. Uh, I'll get another clip here in a minute. So Bob's Fled, well, I guess this is still Bob's Fled. I thought I was coming into another trail here. Okay. All right, so kind of a, kind of hiking up a dirt road here. Pretty cool, look over here, see the mountain. All right, let's keep going. So here we got a, a good choice here. You got Powerline Loop, that's a 1.3 mile hike. And then of course that's Bobsled and Mono, Monogram Road, I guess maybe going up this way. And then, uh, and the thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this Horton's Loop. It's about two mile hike. Uh, you know, nice, nice touch for having the bench here. I, I guess this is it right here. And then if you, I mean, you got a lot of choices to pick from here. Well, here's peak to peak. Now I've kind of done that. More or less, that's what peak to peak does. It just goes from peak to peak. Now I don't know what this is. I don't see anything marking it. Um, maybe that's part of the loop coming back. But anyway, let's uh, let's get on the trail. Let's get on uh, Horton's, I think that's how you pronounce it. H-O-R-T-O-N, Horton's Loop. Uh, two mile hike, uh, should be fun. And then uh, preservation area, please stay on trails and bridges. There you go. But uh, look at it, uh, looks like a, it's gonna be a good day for sure. Hiking around here on Liberty Mountain. Woohoo! Well, unfortunately, Horton's Loop is going down the mountain. <laughs> you know my philosophy on that. I'd rather be going up when I'm starting out rather than going down. <laughs> but uh, anyway, it is what it is. Got to be careful with these leaves here. I'm going to take it nice and slow. I didn't bring the walking stick today because uh, I have no pockets. I tell you, I mean, I, I want to buy a Let's Go Brandon t-shirt, but none of them have pockets. I am not going to buy a t-shirt without a pocket. I mean, I'm I'm sick of it. I mean, you know, I anybody out there making making t-shirts, uh, conservative t-shirts, I'll buy them, but I need a pocket. <clears throat> All right. So this is kind of what it's looking like right now. It's a it's a nice hike. Uh, you do have some leaves on the trees. That's good. So it, it's it's coming in just a little bit. I was hoping I might see some flowery trees, but I don't think of, I think it's too early in the season for for that in the spring here. All right. So I wanted to show you. You know, more or less walking by a creek here. Uh, unfortunately, I'm still going down, 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 and uh, so I'm. At some point, it's going to be a tough hike back up. Uh, but it is quite beautiful. If you want to do Horton's Loop, uh, this is kind of what it looks like so far. Um, but I wanted to get the creek on the video over here. I thought that's pretty cool to watch that water running next to me as, as I'm marching along here. So I'm not sure what the sign is supposed to mean. It says, I guess, well, it's for bicycles. Okay. So if you were mountain biking, this gaps vary. So yeah, I could see where you could, uh, yeah, you could, you could get a tire wedged right in between these things okay that makes sense 
So then, of course, we got another little bridge up here. So I just wanted to get this on the video. Let's get a look at the creek here. That's kind of nice. And then uh, let's look up the creek. And that's where we just came from. So, okay. So we'll uh, we'll keep going here. Boy, this is really cool. If this doesn't make you feel like you're up on the on the parkway, because this is what you see. Look at here. Looks like there's another trail going that way. If you, if you just wanted to get lost in the woods. But I'm just going to keep going. I wanted to get this rock formation on the video. Isn't that beautiful? And that's that's what you see when you're up on the parkway, you know, uh, on the trails up there. It's, it's these types of rock formations like that. But uh, really quite quite beautiful here. Got another bridge coming up, it looks like. I see another caution gaps very sign. So uh, pretty cool so far. What? Oh, here's a... Uh, I think this is another uh, sign for the um, ROTC. So at least that's what I think those are for. And uh, cause they get out here and do their land navigation. So we're, we're keeping on going. So I came up to another little bridge here with the creek rolling by. Very, very nice. So I was watching one. I always like to get the bridges on the video. So now we're just kind of continuing along here. I guess this is just going to hike all the way around to the back of the mountain here. Really quite nice trail. I mean, uh, the other thing I like is being on this side of the mountain. I don't think that you're going to see anybody. I mean, you know, whereas when you get up near the Snowflex uh, uh, facility, um, you know, there's those trails are pretty heavily traveled uh, mountain bikers and whatnot. Uh, you saw the parking lot was completely empty here. I imagine most people don't even know that these trails exist like me. I didn't know they were here. You know, I was just looking at the sign up at the Snowflex and I was going, how the hell do you get to these trails, you know? And I just happened to come down that road and find that parking lot. And I was like, son of a gun, whole new side of the mountain that I've never seen before. Might as well get over here. But look at that, isn't that cool? So we'll be out here by ourselves for sure. I mean, I don't think I'll see anybody on these trails. Uh, if I do, I'll let you know, but I, I, I just, I don't see how that's gonna be possible. All right. Kind of a different look here. Uh, you know, I came from, uh, it was, the trail was really rocky back there. Uh, so you would want some hikers, maybe a, a, a walking stick, you know, which I didn't bring today because uh, I got, got no pockets. That was my, my bad. I could have worn shorts today, and at least my shorts have pockets on them. But, uh, so I have to carry my keys and an extra battery for the GoPro here. But you can see kind of a different look on the trail. A little uh, green algae there. Uh, just more or less uh, down here in the sandwiched in between, you know, two, uh, well, I want to say mountains, I guess. Uh, and uh, still continuing down, unfortunately. And man, that's going to be a... That's gonna be a lot of up to go back on this trail, but anyway, it's, it is really quite beautiful. So coming up on the place where uh, obviously they they're gonna need some maintenance here, <laughs> and I've got to hike across this little stick here without <clears throat> falling in the creek. So I'm gonna cut the video off right there. But we're coming up on oh, that split decision. We've seen that before. Um, geez, okay, but. All right, let's see if I can get this, hold on. Okay, so uh, let's see where we got here. So we're gonna stay on Horton's Loop. So we could, uh, you could do split decision and that you know where that'll take you around to the uh, the other side where they were doing, uh, putting in the lake. But you can see there's another little bridge right here. So let's just stay on Horton's Loop. We're gonna do that. And then when we get back, maybe we'll do another trail. But this is what it looks like looking back through the woods. Really quite beautiful here. I, I love this. I love the sign here. Isn't this cool? You know, we got the got the post. That's unique. I haven't seen that before. So, but I, I do like how they really marked. I mean, way back in the day, they didn't mark these trails real well, but now they got them marked really, really well. All right, let's keep going. So I swear I'm looking. <laughs> the sign pointed this way. There's the bridge. You tell me where's the trail, unless that's it, going up right there. I don't know. Or maybe it just whips around this way. Well, either one, either way, I got to go up. So I'm gonna just swing it around the easy way here. Let's do that. It's, it's pretty wet in here. Hmm. Let me get over here on this side. All right. Well, I told you you were gonna go up at some point. That's the trail, if you can believe it, because I found it again. 
luckily they had it kind of marked here with these sticks so i'm pretty sure it's going up this way but uh boy you got to be careful i've already slid on these leaves a couple of times because i'm going straight up the side of the mountain with no walking stick this is not good uh, just don't want to bite the dust here well i don't know if you can hear me you're basically hiking up the side of a mountain here there's a sign way down there but i mean look at that where I slipped all the way up that and I'm still going up at least I and I'm not 100% certain I'm on the trail but I don't see where I don't see where else it would go hey there's a there's a deer up there can you see him let me see if I can get closer shoot I can't see him now all right if I get if I get a good angle on him I'll, I'll cut the camera on see one one problem is uh, being on a trail that nobody <laughs> nobody travels. <laughs> it's it's awful hard to find the dog on trail because nobody's really tracked. I mean, you can kind of see that some of the leaves are turned up just a little bit, and uh, see it looks like it's going up this way. Unfortunately, the deer I scared him off. I couldn't get another shot of him, so it was pretty cool. He he was a little guy, so. No, uh, no huge rack on and the hunters, the hunters wouldn't be excited by that, that deer. Look pretty thin too. Okay, so yeah, looks like the trail's going this way, I think. Still going up the mountain though. Woo! You know, that sign way back when showed a bike. You know, who in the heck could mountain bike this? I don't, I don't see how that's possible, but I could be. Well, I didn't think you could have mountain bike, uh, what was that uh, one psycho that psycho trail but evidently they do mountain bike it's a, but i just don't see with all them leaves and everything you would the tires would just go right out from underneath you i i, I don't know now luckily i'm coming up to the looks looks like the top of the ridge here let's see what we got on the signs here real quick it looks like we're crossing actually three trails let's see let's see what we got Okay, so we're on Horton's Loop. So this trail here, hmm, let's see what that is. That is the uh, Idiot's Run. And uh, and then we got another sign. I'm gonna stay on Horton's Loop because I wanna just get the, get the trail in. But let's see what's on this sign here. I guess this is another road or trail coming up. Let's see what we got. I don't see where Horton's Loop is going. Unless that's it here. I don't know, Horton's Loop. Okay, well, do you go that way? Or do you go this way? It looks like this way for the Horton's Loop. I wonder what, wonder what trail that is. Huh. Well, let's go down there a ways. I'm in no hurry. It was only 1.9 miles on Horton's Loop. Let's just uh, hike back here, even though it's not marked and see what we see. So wherever I am, I'm at I-12, whatever that means. So we just hike, hike down the, the road here and I'm just gonna go a ways on it. But uh, it is, uh, well, it's kind of up here on top of the ridge. I, I like it because you can look off to the right and you're looking down the mountain and then you're looking to the left and you're looking down the mountain. Quite, quite beautiful here on this little uh, road, I guess you call it. Anyway. So I'm gonna turn around here in a minute because it uh, looks like this road is more or less gonna go down the, the mountain. And uh, I just assume not hike back up the mountain. <laughs> if I was going up, I'd be doing it, but I'd, I'm sick of going down, down, down. So I'm just gonna go a little ways further, but uh, this is kind of what it looked like. And uh, we'll get back on Horton's Loop uh, here in just a minute. And uh, once I turn around on this road, I wanna see if it, uh, yeah, it looks like it's just going to wind around and then down, down the mountain here. So I just went a ways down that road. And I think, I think I'm on Horton's Loop. I mean, because it more or less is the same road I was on going the other direction. Uh, so anyway, um, you can see it's a little bit of difficult hiking with lots of rocks. Uh, luckily, they're not underneath the leaves. I stepped on a rock back there underneath the leaves and... Man, almost went down. It's just twisted out from underneath my foot. But uh, you can kind of see what your trail's looking like. Coming up into a little, little bit of pine needles here. At least I think I'm on the trail. All right. 
Well, it's verified. I'm on Horton's Loop. So I'm coming up by uh, nice touch. We got a bench over here. It looks fairly new. And then we'll see what trail this is. This is uh, Valley View Road. That'd be on my hike, probably. Huh. But we're going to keep on on Horton's Loop uh, going up into here. Looks, uh, looks pretty good. Looks like there's another trail back here. I'll get that on the video when I get there. There's a, there's a cobweb. I'm going to knock it down. There we go. So there's Horton's Loop right there. All right, let's see what is, what's coming up. So I've come up on what's called Playground, which is 0.4 miles. If I was in the mood for a lot of hiking, I would do that since it is only 0.4 miles. I like it that I'm up here on top, but I'm going to stay on Horton's Loop. I guess it's going this way. I mean, it's pointing. Well, if that's Playground over there, I, I guess it's got to go this way. I mean... That's the only thing I can think of. I don't know why it's pointing that way, but that's that, that's got to be playground, I think. I don't know. The Valley Valley View Five Miler, but I wouldn't expect to be going down that way to get back. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's just go left. Thought I'd get a clip looking back. That's tough hiking on all these rocks without hikers on and just grab my tennis shoes and do that every single time don't I but I'm at uh, I 11 and it looks to me like I'm just hiking next to Valley View Road over here so I if it if it does continue like this I'm just going to get over on the road I mean this is uh, you got to be a billy goat to hike this with the rocks uh, twisting under your feet and everything I'm having to go slow whereas if I could get on that road I can make some time but I don't know, maybe the trail's gonna angle off to the right now, I'm not sure. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get over to the road as soon as, as soon as I can right here, and then I'll just see if it, this trail continues beside it. So I guess they're working on this for the mountain bikers. Looks like I'm making a turn away from the, uh, the road over here. Well, you can see all this is new. I guess that's what it used to look like right there. Huh, this would be fun for a mountain bike, but man, I tell you, look, you know, if you came off of this thing and hit that rock right there, I mean, I would just bust you, bust you up right there. It's kind of a weird place to put a, put a jump like that. I mean, I don't know. I, uh, I guess if you're, if you're a real mountain biker, this wouldn't bother you, I suppose. I still haven't seen anything to let me know what trail I'm on. So I don't know, I just, but like I said, the road's up here, so I'm angling away from it. So I'm going to just keep keep following what I think is Horton's Horton's trail here. I wanted to get this. I mean, you're more or less hiking down a drainage ditch. I mean, I'm not enjoying this trail at all. I'm tripped over a route. Um, you know, because you got to go so doggone slow. You know, watching where you put your feet, and you know, and I. I I'm hoping I'm gonna go somewhere. I mean, who knows where I came in at? I mean, I could be anywhere on the mountains. I mean, I, I mean, I, I thought this trail was just gonna be a quick uh, two-mile hike, and uh, I don't know if I'm lost at this point or what. I haven't seen anything to indicate where I'm at. So, and I didn't bring a map. I should have. I just thought I would just hike around a bit and then just go on back. But anyway, that's it. You know, once again, I mean, I just wanted to give you a look back. I mean, who the hell can mountain bike that? I can't even imagine how you would mountain bike that. I mean, you know, I'm just trying to work my way down this thing, but I'm pretty sure I'm lost. I might be hours before I get out of here. I'm um, good thing I, well, kind of an early start. I started at two. If I'm here at six o'clock and I don't have a flashlight or a headlamp because I didn't bring my backpack because it does say Valley View, five miler. I mean, what are they gonna do, run down this? Could you run down this? I don't think, I, maybe some people can, I don't know. I, I, how in the world would you mountain bike this? I, I don't know, you tell me, leave a note below. Well, maybe things will get better now. We finished hiking what I call the drainage ditch. Still no sign. I mean, it is looking more like a trail now, um, but still going down. So I don't know where I'm at, but at least it's uh, at least we're not hiking down a drainage dish no more. It look, looks like a trail now, so hopefully this will be what we see 
for a while, I'm hoping, because I can make some time now. Well, all we can say is that we are on a trail. Because <laughs> there wouldn't be a bridge here if there, we weren't on a trail. But I haven't crossed anything for quite some time. That's what we hiked down right there. So we're at the bottom. So now we're going to start working our way back up on this side. Um, anyway, so I, I mean, I'm glad to see the bridge because that was a beginning of question. Well, I guess we did see these Valley View five miler things to let us know. Or, well, here's something coming up. Hold on. Let's see what it says. Let's see if I'm still on Horton's Way or whatever it was called. Let's take a look. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. I know I'm getting too much video. There's a couple of signs around here. Okay. So we're coming up on something here. Let's take a look. Okay. Oakway, Oaks Way goes that way, 0.9 miles. We're still on Horton's Loop. I don't even know how that's possible. Well, anyway, I guess we're gonna go back up the mountain at this point. So now I'm gonna to get to enjoy what I think is gonna be a trail instead of a drainage ditch. And there's a Horton's Loop, another uh, another thing for the, uh, and then of course we're crossing uh, alternate flight pattern. You've seen that in past videos. So let's see, I should be heading back towards the car at this point. I, if, if, it's, if it is a loop, I mean, that's, that's the way I interpret a loop, is it's going to come around back to the spot where you, you started, you know? Who knows? But we're just kind of in, down in the valley. Down in the valley, valley so low. So, I'm enjoying this portion of the trail. So just kind of more or less a nice new bridge here. Looks like the, they must have just put this in. So... And uh, just kind of walking along the valley floor here, coming up on J9. So wherever that is, oh, boy, as I almost trip again. <laughs> Probably wondering, man, this guy's gonna kill himself, isn't he? All right. I just get a brief clip, man. Look at the size of these trees. Isn't that amazing? There's a couple over there. But uh, you can tell I'm just continuing down the valley here. I do worry about these leaves, you know, you never know when one of them timber rattlers is going to be hiding underneath the leaves, but uh, so far I haven't seen, oh man, I saw this really weird thing, I didn't, I didn't get to see it, but it was like a little lizard, but uh, I don't know what it was, it was bizarre, I was trying to get it on the video and uh, it ran off, it looked like one of those things out of Star Trek, you know, one of them little things that it was and just ran like hell, alright, but uh, you can see that's, that's quite beautiful. I'm enjoying the hike at this point. I don't know where I am, but I'm assuming that I'm looping back to the car at some point. It's, this is a long two mile hike for me. <laughs> I don't know. I, maybe I'm just going so slow. You can't appreciate how deep those leaves are. I was coming up to my knees going through there. So, but uh, that's what you get when you're on a trail that nobody hikes. Uh, so anyway, it's uh, you can see it's getting a little tougher again as we're kind of hiking along the side of the mountain here you know looking up so yep all right see this is where things are going to get a little hairy i mean because the trail is cut in pretty good but it's leaving into the side and boy you can just you, these leaves can get slick on you i'm gonna take it nice and slow here i thought this was pretty cool you can kind of see some of the trees have come down here and they uh you know they obviously came back here and cut it up there's the uh look at that size of that thing wonder what why it uprooted like that you know and there's a there's another one up here uprooting interesting but anyway we're more or less hiking up the ravine at this point uh so i'm going going up 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 I wanted to get this from a distance. That looks like a dam. <laughs> Is the trail going that way? I mean, can you imagine if we got to hike up that? Holy moly, I don't know. I guess I won't know till I get there, but look at that. That Maybe they're going to wind it back and forth going up that, that slope there. 
Well, that's gonna be interesting, man. I, look, even just getting up through here is gonna be tough. You know, on these leaves because they get they they slide on you. All right, let's let's keep going. I do wish they had more markers. Now maybe that little white thing hanging there is supposed to show you the trail. I'm trying to take it nice and slow because I'm afraid my, with the way this trail slopes to the side on these leaves, it could slide out from underneath you. This is where walking stick you is mandatory for this trail. Man, oh man, this is crazy. I thought I'd show you what I'm seeing. There's another marker up there for the ROTC but look at this oh my goodness gracious I don't man I tell you what I'm, I'm for once in my life I'll be glad when this hike comes to an end I mean this is sliding on the leaves and hiking along the side of the mountain here and you know and now I whew, looks like we're gonna have to wind our way up up that I'm hoping once I get to the top up here, that'll just be a, a road or something and get the hell off of this trail. Boy, I was looking, I was going, am I really on a trail? <laughs> and then I saw this coming up and I was thinking, oh my God, am I going to have to go up that? And then if you look over here, that's, the, that's why they got that little white thing there. So it's moving off to the left, but man, these leaves are going to be deep, deep, deep right here. I can tell. I've got to take it nice and slow. But I guess the trail's gonna kinda, well, I don't know what it's gonna do. Regardless, we gotta get up that somehow. I just had to get this on the video. Man, those leaves, you just sink right down in there. And this is the actual trail, can you believe it? Man, I am going straight up the mountain here. At least I think it's the trail. And it's kinda working its way back and forth here a little bit. But well, it's gonna be slow going getting up this. Look at that. You gotta be a belly goat to climb this thing. Problem is I keep sliding on these leaves. And man, if you if you go down, <laughs> you're going down the side of a mountain. And I was looking, but thank God for these little white things. That's the only thing that's keeping me. But the trail's going up this way, and then it's cutting back this way. Man, I'll be glad when I get to the top of this thing. I don't know if the video does justice. But that's what I just came up. Hiking along the edge here. And that's where I'm going. Man, I would never do this trail ever again. Not only is it dangerous in my mind, it's, uh, it's just crazy. Hiking through ravines and drainage ditches and up the side of, well, I don't even know if you, what you would call this. I mean, this is, side of a mountain I guess in fact I feel like my legs are going to slip out from underneath me at any second here oh man and man if you start tumbling down that you're a dead man so I'm approaching the top man I'll be a guy I mean all I can do is just just move like a snail here man you know I've already stepped on a couple of roots underneath the leaves and feet went out from underneath me I'm going to be one happy camper when I get to the top of this. I'm about that close. Thank God. I wanted to get one last look at what I just came up. And there's a little white marker. And I think that's the parking lot right there. Man, that was crazy. That was crazy. I, I, uh, I'm glad to be getting back to the car. I'm, I'm worn out. I no more hiking for me today. This is... Uh, this is it. Ooh, that was crazy. Not only, I mean, not only heart rate up coming up the hill, the fear. <laughs> I, was, I was actually scared coming up that thing, you know, because I, all the, you know, feet go out from underneath you and boom, man, you're down the hottest side of a mountain. I and mean, look at that. That's crazy. Oh, all right, peace out, stay free. Well, Horton's Loop wasn't a loop. Brought me out on this road. And I know, well, I gotta figure out where I'm at. Cause I gotta have to hike back to the car. I got another, I got a lot of hiking just to get back to the car here. This is crazy. Well, anyway, at least I'm on a road now and I feel pretty safe. I thank God that hike is over. Whew. Maybe this is another road here to head down to the car maybe. 
I guess I'll find out. Okay, I figured out where I'm at. This is Monogram Road, and this will take me back to the parking lot where my car is. So, uh, I'll tell you what, let's go up, back up here, and I want to show you on the sign where we are. And there, there are a couple wasps flying around in this thing. I, but uh, let, let, let's show you so that you know where you come out if you do decide to hike that crazy trail. So if you look, here's Horton's Loop. We just came up. We're right there. Okay, and then I'm getting ready to hike down Monogram Road this way. Of course, you could take it this way and get back to the Snowflex. So, uh, and that's that road right there. And uh, anyway, yeah. All right, let's uh, let's see. What's oh, there's Valley View Road. You could take that all the way over, all the way across the mountain if you wanted to. It looks like. Okay, let's get back to the car. So just going down Monogram Road. Second, it's a nice little hike down the road. At least I'm not terrified anymore. I uh, figured I'd just do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom. Good to soon be back in the free state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no jab requirements, and we are free to come and do as we please. Oh, and no mask requirements. And uh, under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. And if you're a Democrat, you don't go to Florida. Don't come anywhere near Florida. You uh, you go to New York where, you know, you can mask up your two to five year old and well put five masks on them, you know, be sure and do that. And, uh, and then of course go to California. I'm sure everybody there, you know, you, you'll fit right in. Just, you know, put some cellophane over your head and, you know, wear 10 masks there, you know, and, uh, and be sure and pay them high taxes, man. We want you to, we want you to be taxed to death in those uh, Democrat states. All right, peace out, stay free. Well, there's the road finally down there. At least I think that's the road that I came in on. And so, uh, man, I tell you, you, you made the trail may only be 2.1 miles, but then you got another mile, a mile to get back to the car, you know. So it's uh, it was a good day of hiking, all that I wanted. Plus, uh, too, too much up and down for me today. My, my knees are hurting at this point. But uh, this is the view from Monogram Road and uh, just coming down the mountain and uh, eventually, I'm pretty sure that's the road that goes by the soccer center and all of that. So I think, <laughs> not, don't hold me to that. We'll see. So on the way back, I just thought I'd get this. I guess these kids can mountain bike, bike this, but I, I, how could you mountain bike that? It's called downhill run, 0.5 miles. I mean, look at that, it's going straight down. Woo, I wouldn't even want to walk it. <laughs> 